Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Aquarians, this is the month of January. Happy New Year. Let's go in. These readings are timeless, so whenever you come up to pick up these readings, um, these readings are all timeless readings, ladies and gentlemen. Um, be aware of this. Um, this month of January is the month of uh, um, strength. Um, whatever is happening in Transparent, um, you are having the energy of strength. This is kind of weird. Um, <laughs> Um, a very weird experience for you guys um, with the energy of strength I see we have shuffled the cards and a situation is not over so some of you Aquarians have been dealing with some sort of a problem and you're coming back in this year um, to resolve the problem okay so Aquarians thank you for being here remember to like shares and thumbs up let's go in your reading so what we're seeing, Aquarians, is that uh, um, we are looking at, uh, and remember, um, go and check out the general reading. The general reading is going to be giving you a lot of information, okay? So, first of all, um, we see the energy of water in the first week. Um, the energy of water and the nine of wands is as if a situation is not yet resolved. And a lot of you are, are in limbo waiting for a situation to be resolved. But at the same time, you're standing your ground and protecting yourself from some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem that has been transpiring. If you notice, number 21 is here and it's the year um, um, 2021. So whatever is happening and transpiring, um, this energy of number 21 that is showing up in you, Aquarian readings, is uh, basically specifically saying something about this year. So take this year and, and, and really work with it. Go back and listen to your year reading because obviously you're going to be having some sort of a luck that is going to be coming up uh, in this year, okay? I see um, you are really... This is a water energy where you're waiting, waiting in limbo, but yet still protecting yourself at the same time and standing your ground. And this is going to be very good. As we look at the second week, you have uh, um, the energy of uh, the, um, the 11th energy, which is the energy of this month, strength. So this is the situation. Um, some of you are dealing with strength. Some of you are dealing with legal issues. Some sort of information is going to be coming to you in the second week that is going to let you stand your grounds and show up for yourself. So Aquarians, whatever is transpiring, the second week, some sort of information is going to be coming in and you're going to be deciding, no, 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 I'm standing my ground um, to the situation, whatever is happening and transpiring. I'm really standing my ground, taking back my powers uh, in whatever the issue, the problem that is transpiring in my world because I am going to balance the situation out. Some of you could be having some sort of a problem with your kids, waiting to hear from your kids, um, some sort of an issue with school, trying to figure out what is going to be going on with school. So I see you're dealing with that issue because you have to go back to work. You have to kind of figure out how you're going to be dealing with that. So this is going to be good. So the second week is going to be a fire energy, which is the energy of the month. So you are dealing um, with the energy of the month and some sort of a news um, that is going to be coming in. And especially women, uh, uh, people with kids uh, is waiting in limbo to find out what is going to be transpiring. Okay. The third week is the week of the wheel of fortune. I love this for you guys. Um, the energy of the Wheel of Fortune is bringing back um, something to you and a lot, okay? Um, so the Wheel of Fortune, if you notice, there's a rat that uh, tried to steal something. There is a little girl uh, that is here trying to balance out um, a situation and something that was taken because the cycle is not over. The cycle is showing up for you. Something that was taken, a lot that was taken from you is going to be returning in the third week. So Aquarian, be aware of this and be open for the energies that is going to be coming up because something that was taken from you is going to be returning. 
then in the, the last week of water week um so the you know the last week is a water week you're dealing with um relationships some sort of a relationship some sort of a contract some sort of a deceptive play um but here you are standing your ground and my question <laughs> um you're standing your ground and the weirdest thing is that this woman has a sword and the seven of wands standing her ground and is going to be victorious um over a situation because it's the seventh of one and i love this deck um i got it um um in the christmas time i really love this deck because uh, i was um going through the deck and um the seven of wands normally is the six of wands is good news the seven of wands is victory in this deck and this is just so funny um, because no other decks has that and it, I, I was like blown away to find out and to realize that the six of the seven of ones was really victory and you know it is it is um uh, the way they're uh, they have depicted i really love the way that they have depicted because um no one ever thought of uh, um the seven of ones to be um, such a victorious energy but it is and um, I somehow I saw this deck and I, I really liked it and I placed it on my Christmas lace so that was this is like really intriguing um, this deck um, um, that um, the seven of ones was victory conquest um, fierce in fierce but fair battle triumph after a long uh dispute and yay 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 um you are going to be coming out to be triumphant uh, over a long dispute okay so this is um this is like a really really um positive uh, this message that is going to be coming in the second week uh, um is about uh, um a child for some of you it's going to be about a child okay for some of you, um, it could be a sincere friend, okay? And it could be an island that want to collaborate with you because this person in upright is in upright, okay? So um, it is good. A lot of you Aquarians was had some sort of an issue. Maybe you were getting divorced or um, you had an issue with a, with a contract, an agreement, and you're standing your ground. Uh, in the last week, you're really, really standing your ground in the last week, and it's going to be bringing a balance to whatever that was going on, and this is going to be good. So this is really powerful. You have water. You begin the month with water, um, and uh, you have fire. You have water, fire, fire, and water. So it is going to be an emotional month, but it's going to be um in balance is as if whatever the emotional situation is you're going to be bringing balance back to this okay so your best week is going to be the third and fourth week uh, because that is the beginning of your um birthdays so if you notice the changes the wheel of fortune comes in um and it is telling you that this year um, 2021 is going to be a powerful year for you, Aquarians. It is going to be a good year. Um, you're ending 2020 like fighting the battles. Um, because these are the energy of the first week and the second week of January. Your birthdays and zodiac energy time begins in the third week. So the third week and fourth week is going to be good for you, Aquarians. Who do you have to look out for? Um, the Pisces and the Scorpion. The Sagittarian, the Leos, some sort of a news about a Leo um, is going to be coming in, whether it's a Leo child. Um, but this this is like um, some sort of a news from a Leo child, some sort of an issue with a Leo child or a Sagittarian child or a Pisces <clears throat> or a um, Scorpion child. So whoever have a, a Scorpion child or a Pisces or a Sagittarius or a Leo child, some sort of information is going to be coming in. Then we are looking at uh, um, the third week. So um, in the third week, it's good. It's a lot of news. Business could be picking up in the third week. Um, money could be coming in um, like um, uh, your business. You did a lot of business in December. 
and then the third week is when all the money is going to be coming in so this is going to be good contracts um you are going to be you stood your ground with a situation with a contract and an agreement that is going to be resolved in the last week of january so um what is the energy of the month is as if uh, the horgan liar freeze okay and what you're doing is basically resolving um this freeze okay it's, it's, it's so it's just the dragon's layer the dragon layer where you are standing up for yourself aquarian and it's going to be ending this freeze so the angels to work with is in archangel shamuel it's about sincerity sincerity so in the month of january you're dealing with sincerity however this is coming up and transpiring sincerity is the name of the game call upon archangel shamuel aquarians and ask for sincerity so a lot of you a situation has not been ended for a sagittarian child but i see you're going to be receiving multiple it's like a new school contract or some sort of a new um situation for this child and um you're going to be standing your grounds and protecting your child whatever the message that is coming in about some sort of a documentation information and documentation is coming in in the first week and in the third week i see multiple information multiple um documentation multiple business is going to be transpiring and you're standing your grounds and if you notice you have the passion you're using the energy of passion you're not using the energy of swords but you're using the energy of wands the energy of passion whatever you're going to be doing in this month is going to be based on passion because you're standing your grounds in a very very positive way and whoever and whatever this issue and the situation is and was, you are basically balancing out the situation. So if you notice, the energy of the ones is that you're standing strong. Okay, your foundation is very, very good. Okay, there is no question about it. The foundation is good. And the foundation is uh, um, giving you a lot because uh, um, you're going to be coming at a crossroad in the third week. But... Um, you're going to be um, choosing the right um, direction, okay? Um, and important information is going to be coming in the third week, but this is going to be good. And materialistic choice, a long journey um, that you, some of you were going through, some sort of a long complication is going to finally come to an end. So you're going to be conquesting um, victory. Good news is going to be coming in. Um, so be aware of um, this. This is going to be in a positive alignment of energy. I see a lot of you are going to be saving in this month of January. The nine of ones is about saving, ability to anticipate problem. Okay, so save whatever is transpiring. Just save inspiration, intuitive. This month is the month of uh, inspiration. So go back and listen to the month energy because it, it is the month of uh, um inspiration okay so um be aware of this so i love this uh, um deck this is a new deck this is a beautiful a new deck and the message that is coming through you have basically no cards um in the um reverse and this is uh, um letting you know that this month is going to be good a situation has not been ending that some of you were dealing with in 2000 and um in 2020 and you're waiting and you're standing your ground i see you 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 are really standing your ground you're going to be saving whatever you have in order to balance out yourself as you move along um some of you are standing your ground against um, um a young child and is protecting this young child the wheel of fortune is here and the energy of the wheel of fortune um, is that some sort of a news is going to be coming back uh, that you have victoriously overcome some sort of an issue and problems that was created um, um, against you and around you and your family. So I see you standing up, taking back your powers and moving forward. Good opportunities is going to be coming in in the third week. There is no question about it. Random success 
and occasional encounters returning of loved ones could be coming in the third week okay so that is absolutely wonderful agreements oak and contract in the fourth week that is good unity of purpose um praise of loyalty is going to be also coming in the fourth week so um you are ending this month on a victorious streak there is no question about it it is where you take up back up um, self-empowerment the energy and the self-control the tendency the work uh, moral strength intelligent uh, and you are using all of these to be triumphant over the issues and problems that you were going through so i really 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 love this month for you um and you have started the year off in a very very positive powerful way there is no question about it um, um it is uh, um a time when you're going to be exceeding um to higher um possibilities call upon archangel shamuel um to um you know give you clean hands and a uh, sincerity um sincerity is, is very very powerful at this timeline i love this these um energies for you guys so what well, who you're dealing with um you're yeah you're definitely dealing with, with children who um children but um what is transpiring is that luck and opportunity good news um luck and opportunity some of you are going to be coming to a crossroad in the third week but it's okay not to worry um the contract is going to be um resolve and uh, you will receive uh, this new contract i see you're going to be victorious because it's as if uh, um you were dealing with some sort of a contract in the year before and this was not resolved and in the um last week of january this is when the resolution um is going to be coming in and you are going to be facing the music and taking back your powers in a proper way so um eight um some of you definitely are going to be having to deal with the sagittarians in your life uh whether it's at the work floor whether it's private or at the work floor um a whole a new business contract is going to be coming in um the two last week is going to be your best best weeks okay the two last week so i see business contract coming in and you are coming out of this month really being victorious and successfully overcoming a sort of a battle battle that you have been going through and you are now bringing balance to an unstable situation that was happening and transpiring so this is uh, so powerful a lot of information is going to be coming in and uh, this information is uh, going to be bringing you to a crossroad but i see you're going to be standing at your ground and uh, as uh, standing your ground and showing up uh, things people and situation is uh, going to be helping to resolve uh, um a situation that uh, a lot of you came in this year dealing with okay work if you're looking for work um start um in the beginning of the month sometime in the second week or third week or fourth week uh, you could be signing your new contract so this is going to be good so you're dealing with a lot of sagittarian people um cancer and gemini um leos um and uh, um you know whatever that was lost or um you were cheated out of is going to be returning to you because they're going to be finding out and recognizing um some sort of uh horrible um uh corruption that was going on and some sort of a deceptive um you know deceptive play that was created around some of you where um, you are now trying to pick up the pieces uh, after the calling. So, um, congratulations, Aquarian. Just um, you guys um, always have the first reading. I do it in alphabetical order, and um, you are so powerful. 
um, and use the energy in this week to understand that you're going to be getting out of anything and that has been thrown at you in the month of January. You're going to be positive coming out of uh, whatever the issue, whatever the situation, whatever people um, throw at you, you're going to be re revealing and getting out. I love you guys. Please remember to thumbs up, like, and share these videos. Namaste.